Howdy YouTubers, StarCop97 coming to you once again. This is going to be about the Snapper 7. Uh, it took me a while to bind it to my flight controller. And trust me, flying tiny whoops is a lot harder than it looks. Uh, had to take it outside to try and fly it. And uh, was doing okay. Orientation is still a problem for me, but I'll get that worked out somehow. But on one of the landings it did a cartwheel and the battery which is only held in by two little rubber bands which I'm going to fix that somehow I may use some uh, I don't know not duct tape but some velcro or something because they're little tiny batteries I think there's a better way to hold them in than that but anyway it slid out and you're in one of the cartwheels across the ground not in the air and when it did it pulled the ground wire off and Kim you're not going to believe this, but I trimmed up that ground wire. I tinned it up just a little bit, and believe it or not, me, the worst solderer in the world, reattached the ground wire inside of the unit. And she powered up, and I had to rebind her, and the motors turn, and she flies. I can't believe I did it, to be honest, because I'm a horrible solderer. But what I'm starting this for isn't to tell you about my soldering skills or my poor flying. To prevent that from happening again, what I did is, if you can see it, right here I took a real tiny bundle tie. And I took that bundle tie and bundle tied the power lead to the frame. I am hoping the next time the battery comes out it doesn't rip it off the board. Because I really don't want to go through that again. I'm not the best solderer in the world. It only took 10 minutes or so. Uh, but after watching all you guys do soldering, I figured that can't be that hard. And it wasn't. I remembered how to do it after a while. But anyway, just wanted to give you that little safety tip. If you get one of these, or maybe if you've got any of the tiny whoops and your power cable or the battery doesn't attach really securely or whatever the case, uh, I would recommend, this may be a bad idea, you guys can tell me what you think in the comments. But I would recommend getting a really tiny bundle tie and bundle tie down that lead so that it doesn't it reduces the amount of pull that's going to exist on the actual board that it's wired to. I'm amazed that it still flies. Really, I am. And it does fly well. I fly horribly. It flew really well. It, it goes very well. Anyway, that's my safety tip for the night, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'll get this video up ASAP. And then I'm going to go join Val if she's still on, because I've been busy, and I probably missed her already, because it's going for 6 o'clock. Uh, and she comes on at Eastern time. This is Central, so it's already 7 o'clock Eastern. Anyway, have a good night, guys, and God bless.